Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is custom sort string. Order and str are strings composed of lowercase letters. In order, no letter occurs more than once, so everything's distinct. Now, order was sorted in some custom order previously. We want to permute the characters of str so that they match the order that order was sorted. More specifically, if x occurs before y in order, then x should occur before y in the return string. Uh, now return any permutation of string that satisfies this property. So we can see we have our order CBA. We can imagine that uh, this kind of maps into like A, B, C here, or I should say more like one, two, three. And if we took our string and sorted it in this order, we would take C first, then the B, then the A, and then, uh, well, what about D? Well, since D does not appear in order, it can be in any position in the return string. It can be like in front or it can be in the back. Uh, it doesn't matter. We just need to make sure that everything inside of order is sorted uh, inside of string properly. So, okay, well, uh, at first it looked pretty complicated, but then you quickly realize we could just use a lookup to map each one of these characters to some integer. We'll just start with zero. Each time we see a new one, we're gonna increase our iterator and make a map and then just sort this using the lambda function by uh, entering the character into our into our map here. So uh, let's see, all we have to do is create some sort of lookup. I'm gonna make this a default dict with integers. I'll also start with an iterator. So let's move through every single character in order and add to our lookup uh, or not add to it, just make i each character in order since it's already in the order that we want. And then we're going to increase our iterator each time. So now c equals 0, b equals 1, a equals 2, so on and so forth. Uh, after that, all we have to do is uh, sort our string here. But we want to use a lambda function, so key equals lambda x. And we're going to enter this x into our lookup like this. So this would return a sorted string, but we want to make sure that we return, I'm sorry, a sorted list, but we want to return a, a string. So we're gonna to have to do a string join like this. So we just return this. Now, one thing to note though, is what about that D? Uh, this I think is gonna actually error out. Well, maybe more, let's see here. Like we can see, okay, C, B, A, that's sorted in the order that we want, but D is kind of like in the middle. Uh, so I'm not sure if this will work. Let's see. Oh, it still works. Um, okay, well, it, it works there. Uh, originally, I was going to do like get. I was going to use the get get function instead. We we'll can use uh, get and enter in the x and then make some large number as the default in case it wasn't in there. But I guess that's not necessary. If we did this though, uh, we would ensure that uh, everything that wasn't inside our order, gets put at the very end here in the original order inside the string. And this will work too. Um, so <clears throat> I suppose it's up to you. All right, uh, that's it. So pretty easy one. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.